Welcome to the Build My Online Store podcast, where we discuss everything and anything about running an online store. If you like the podcast, sign up for the mailing list to get news and updates at buildmyonlinestore.com. And now, here's your host, Terry Lynn. All right, welcome to another episode of the Build My Online Store podcast. I am your host, Terry, and in today's episode, we have Rob Walling from Hittail. And so Hittail is a tool that helps you find keywords to target in your blog post or website. And so I've been following Rob, who owns Hittail for a while, listening to his podcast, Startups for the Rest of Us. And while he's not in, in the e-commerce business, he does run software that's related. And so his keyword tool, Hittail, has a lot of e-commerce business owners that use it. And so I thought it'd be cool to, uh, to kind of get his view on how this tool helps people and to kind of bring a different angle onto the show. So tune in, this should be very cool. And before we start, some upcoming guests that are up in the next two weeks, uh, we have NerdBots, uh, which is a business that builds robots out of antique and thrift parts. And so they use parts from the 60s, 70s, they find them in dumpsters and then they weld them together into a robots and they sell them online all across the world. And so you'll see typewriters, pressure cookers, radios, cameras, and all this sort of stuff from the past. And they're basically assembled into robots. And after that, we have the smart baker. And so if you're into banking, which I have no idea how it works, but apparently uh, measurements and all that stuff is very difficult. So uh, the smart baker makes, uh, I guess, kitchen tools that make it easier to get around the kitchen in terms of you know, do stuff faster, more efficiently. And so they were actually on the Shark Tank earlier this year, I believe. And so I also talked to them about how, what was it like to be on the show? What's it like to be in front of Mark Cuban and all these people and kind of what happens after the show once you get a deal and how they grew their business after that. So make sure you check them out, thesmartbaker.com, and they will be up in the next week or two. Today I'm joined by Rob Walling at Hittail, who also has a blog, Software by Rob, and also a podcast called Startups from the Rest of Us. What's up, Rob? Hey, Terry. How are you? Good. All right. Well, let's just get into it then. So um, I understand Hittail was something you took over. What's, what's kind of the story? Yeah, that? it was about a year ago, um, almost to the day, actually. I acquired it from the previous owners. They had started it in 2006, I believe, and it was launched by a, a New York-based PR firm. And they were wanting to get into the SEO space. Blogging was big. And so they marketed it as a tool to help bloggers find new content ideas and to, and to surf the long tail, so to speak. And um, over the years, the kind of the development staff of that PR firm, you know, slowly went away. And then I think the PR firm shut down. And so it was basically the CEO of that firm who's non-technical was trying to keep this web service going. But it, it's hard, you know, it's, it wasn't bringing in a ton of revenue. And she was just kind of ready to, to let it go. So I have been a customer of Hittail since t somewhere in 2006, 2007. It's worked well for me. And so when it started having system outages, I contacted her and just said, hey, you know, what's what's going on? It was a cold email. I didn't know her and I didn't think I would ever get a reply, to be honest. But um, we negotiated for about two or three months via email, and then I took possession of it in uh, in August of 2011. And so you say Hittail helps people find content to generate. How does it work in general? Yeah, so the idea behind Hittail is it gives you the keywords for your website, the search keywords that are almost working for your site, but that aren't quite there. So it's things that you, you you could rank really easily for on the first page, but you're just not there yet. And so typically what it is, well, I guess I, uh, the mechanics of how it works is you, you sign up for a trial, we have 30 day free trial, uh, and then you get tracking code. So it's just like Google Analytics, you know, little tracking code snippet. You install that on every page of your site, and then in real time, we can see how people are finding your site, what keywords they're using. We cover all search and all the major search engines, um, including a bunch of you know like Baidu and and ones that I can't pronounce in China. We just added those a, a few weeks ago. And we can tell which keywords people are finding you for. And then we have this algorithm that is that actually analyzes all that data, and it takes your big long keyword list. You know, if you go into Google Analytics and you you look at your keyword list of keywords people found you for. You might have 500 or 1,000 keywords that you got one hit each 
for, right? And you, you have no idea how to use that information. What our algorithm does, it takes that list and it squashes it down. It takes the ones you're going to rank on the first page for. And so it'll give you a list of like 30 instead of a list of 1,000. I see. So it's, so it's taking your analytics data into something actionable. Yes, it's filtering. Exactly. It like cuts through the noise. I love analytics. I'm a big, you know, engineering analytics guy, but there's just so little that you can act upon in a lot of analytics apps. And so that's, I mean, Hittail really is one feature. It has, there's a bunch of other screens. You can look at your real-time refers, your real-time search hits, all that stuff. Cool. But the actionable part are these keyword suggestions. And they're suggestions that our algorithm has analyzed over a billion keywords in six years. And uh, it's optimized to give you the suggestions you're very, very likely to rank uh, on the first page for. I see. And so is there a certain amount of traffic you need to make this work or is it? Yeah. Once you have over, it's right around a thousand unique visitors a month. And you, the more pages of content you have, the better. Um, typically, you could, I mean, I've seen some people get by with five or 10 pages of content, but you're, you're, suggestions are just going to be more narrow. We just have, we don't have as much data to work with. Once you hit about 15 pages of content, 20 pages, it really starts to broaden and, and you get more newer, you know, ideas that actually seem new. Although even the, the narrow ideas saying, like rephrasing the same concept in two or three different ways, they may seem narrow, but if people are really searching for them in these independent, you know, using independent phrases, it's actually very valuable to rank for all of those, those different ways. Would you have an example just to kind of give everyone an idea? Sure. So someone might search for, uh, they might go into Google and they're thinking, um, I want to find maybe some red tennis shoes. So someone might go in and type in crimson sneakers and someone might say tennis shoes red and someone might type in red tennis shoes for men. And those are all kind of the same thing, but those are each unique individual traffic sources. And so if you just said, well, I wrote a blog post called Red Tennis Shoes, and that's just going to cover all those. It's not. It's not going to rank you high for all of those terms. And that's a bit of a, it, that's a trite example, but that's the kind of thing we see is that ranking high for, for variations of a term is actually very, very valuable. And long tail keywords tend to be more valuable in general. They tend to have higher conversion rates. They tend to have very, very low competition. Um, and that's something that you know, the data you get out of Hittail, the suggestions, your competition does not have that data because they don't have your traffic. So it's actually a competitive advantage. Whereas you go to Google AdWords keyword tool or word tracker or, you know, any of the main keyword tools, anyone can go and pay, pay the money and, uh, and basically get the same information you do. Oh, and it's tailored to your, so it's for proprietary yes. data tailored off your traffic. Oh, I see. I exactly. No one else. Yep. Oh, that makes sense because anyone can just get Market Samurai and find out what words are easy to rank for. And, and we're all competing. I mean, I have Market Samurai and Micro Niche Finder and I use the keyword tool. We all use that same data and that's not bad, but those are, that's the reason they're so competitive. Um, Hit tail will turn up. I've, I've seen it turn up terms that, that have three, that bring in three or 400 uniques a month and they're not in any keyword tool that I've ever looked in. You know, it's crazy. Some of the our range is between about, tw I try to say, um, between 20 and 400 uniques a month. That's the, that's what I consider long tail. And those are the terms that, that, you know, Hittail typically brings up. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Cause if everyone's using the same keyword tools, you can't really stand out. So exactly. Yeah. All right. So who's the typical customer that uses Hittail? Cause, um, I've mentioned, you've mentioned this on some other shows, like what are the big three segments? That yeah. The the big three segments are uh, e-commerce websites because the long tail is so powerful when you have 100 or 500 products. Um, and I, we found that e-commerce sites are very, they get a ton of value out of it. That's actually, I think our highest uh, monthly plans are all e-commerce sites because they just, obviously there's such an ROI on, on any new search or organic search traffic and the long tail converts, tends to convert better with e-commerce as well. So, so e-commerce is a big one. And then uh, the other two are, well, there's actually, yeah, there's a few. There's uh, SEO savvy realtors and lawyers, surprisingly enough. They can really do some damage with this. Um, leads. Yep. It's, it's been surprising. I've, uh, it hasn't been as easy to market into that market because I can't just go after general realtors and lawyers because most of them don't know what it is, but the ones who are SEO savvy really dig it and stick around. Um, and then the internet marketing crowd and, and startups like SaaS startups. Those are kind of 
big three or four. And so when you mean realtors and lawyers, you mean like your local lawyer who has his website SEO optimized and he's doing active link building. Yep. And there are only, it's a percent, a small percentage, I'm sure of lawyers in the US or in the world that actually do it. But the ones who do, you know, you imagine the, the retainers they get and uh, the value that in each individual customer holds. And so for them to be able to to get it via organic traffic is is quite a coup for them. Oh yeah, and if they're getting a few hundred unique a month, it's totally worth it. Absolutely. Knowing their hourly rates. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, all right, so let's go into e-commerce stores a little bit. How big is the average store that uses uh, Hittail? Like how many products do they have? Do you have an idea? Yeah, well, I, I don't know the average, but I, I have, there are some stores that have 10 products. What they tend to do is have all, all, you know an attached blog where they also blog about the stuff. They don't have such a large quantity of products that they have the long tail. They get the long tail from their blog. And then on the flip side, I don't know what the biggest one is. It's, I mean, it's like more than I could count, like 500 or 1,000 or more, you know, just a big, big variety site. And they actually have truly have the long tail just within their products themselves. So it's a pretty wide range. I mean, you can do it either way. Yeah, I see. And so, so the next problem is I have my keywords. I, I need to write blog posts. I don't want to write blog posts. What, what do I do? So, <laughs> this was a, so that when I first bought it, that was a reason the cancellation rate was not, it wasn't high, but it was higher than I wanted it to be. And people would cancel and say, love the tool, great suggestions, don't have time to write. So what I did is um, we basically offer now to write high quality content. And this is, it's, it's 19 bucks an article and it, they're unique. They're not PLR. You know, I mean, they're totally custom based on your keywords and it's native English speakers here in the, in the U.S., I think, U.S. and Canada. And um, yeah, so that's what we do now. So it's just a one-click thing. You get a suggestion, you click it, and a lot of them come back within 24 hours. Some of them take a couple days. Yeah, because that's something I've realized that a lot of e-commerce owners, they don't have time to write a blog. They're so busy marketing and getting sales. Yeah, I have a, I mean, that's, you know, I, this is who I use. I use our own article marketing services for Hittail's blog. Oh. <laughs> right? That's what I use, you know? Yeah, that's cool. All right, so um, I see Hittail has four pricing options. Uh, can you just talk about kind of like the most popular one? Yeah, and- yeah, so it starts at, at nine ninety five a month, 10 bucks basically. And um, that's where, you know, at, at 10 bucks a month, if you're get if you have about a thousand uniques and you have about 10 pages of content, you're gonna get about $10 of value out of it pretty much guaranteed. So the, the most popular plan is 20 bucks a month. And that's where you, um, gosh, what does it go up to? 5,000 uniques? You're, you're looking at it. I'm not even looking at yeah, it. Yeah. It's a uh, 10,000. Yeah. I think. So up to that goes up to 10,000 uniques a month and you can, you tend to get a lot of suggestions. Um, it's anywhere between depending on your distribution of search engine traffic and, um, yeah, depending on how much search engine traffic you get and how varied it is, you get a new suggestion with every 25 to 125 uniques. So if you, I realize that's a big range, but it, you know, if you have up to 10,000 uniques a month, um, even if you're getting a new suggestion every 100 uniques, I think that's, is that 100 suggestions a month? Yeah, it is. So that's a lot. Like 100 suggestions a month is actually overwhelming. <laughs> it's like too much, a little too much. We actually, I have some videos on how to kind of narrow it down. We have a ranking algorithm of which suggestions are better and this and that, but that's that's a little more detailed. Until you're actually a customer, that kind of stuff doesn't really matter. I see. And so I see there's also an option to filter between paid and organic. There is. Um, I, I don't, I mean, that was built into the product when I bought it. It definitely, it works. So if you're sending AdWords and, and Bing pay-per-click and all that stuff, you can just differentiate between the traffic and view your paid traffic versus viewing your organic traffic. We don't offer suggestions based on, or I'm sorry, based on paid traffic. It just wouldn't make sense to do that. But there, that feature is built in and that was something I think people, people do still use it for. But it's not a main, that's not the core of the product. Got you, got you. Okay. And so just kind of give to everyone a preview. Is there anything big upcoming that we should be aware of? You know, we have a, uh, I have a WordPress plugin that's almost done. And all that does at this point is it allows easy installation. Um, so you can just install the plugin, type in your tracking number, your, your ID number, and it'll just install the code for you. We already offer free installation for people if they, you know, let us, they need to give us access to their server and then we can install it. But, um, so the WordPress plugin's cool. I'm also hoping to develop that WordPress plugin into an actual, um, like a, a dashboard widget where you can view your suggestions straight from WordPress. So if you're blogging, you know, you can just kind of pick up your suggestions without having to leave and, and log into Hittail. Oh, yeah. Um, that's, that's it. I mean, we have a few other integrations that are coming up with some big 
kind of bigger SEO players and marketing players, but nothing is finalized. So um, those are in the works. Cool. All right. I think that's it. Is there anything I'm missing? No, no, I think that's it. Um, like I said, there's a 30 day trial and, you know, no charge or anything. So hit hittail.com if people want to check it out. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Thanks so much, Rob. All right. Thanks for having me. To get more information about running an online store, visit our website at buildmyonlinestore.com. There, you'll find articles, case studies, and tools to help you run a successful online store. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Build My Online Store podcast.